Hey guys, this is God of Politics, and welcome back to a brand new video, but before we get started with this video, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, join the Discord that is linked down in the description, but we actually have some very good news today. As you can see here from the title of this article, America's unemployment rate falls to 13.3% as the economy posts surprise job gains. This is very good news that just came out this morning. It says the American economy just got a shocking piece of good news. Good news for change. This is fantastic. The job market may be recovering well ahead of schedule. The U.S. unemployment rate fell surprisingly to 13.3% in May as the economy gained 2.5 million jobs. If you didn't know, that's actually the largest job gain in history. And while it's all relative because the unemployment rate is still at 13.3%, this is very good news, not just for Donald Trump, which we'll talk about in a second, but also for the country and the millions of people that we do expect to get back their jobs. Uh, it says the labor market rebounded from April's drastic loss when it revised 20.7 million jobs vanished. The unemployment rate last month soared to 14.7% as businesses shut during the coronavirus lockdown. So what you're seeing is as some of these uh, businesses are opening, what you're seeing is that people are actually starting to get their jobs back. And while not all of these jobs are going to be permanently coming back, some of them will be permanently gone and aren't going to come back. That's probably a decent chunk of them. But this is a good start for the economic recovery that we're going to have to be seeing in the future and in the coming months uh, and starting now, I guess. Uh, if we look at this graph here, the surprising jobs rebound, we can see that the average, you know, is around 250,000, something like that. Then we lost 20 million jobs. This was a huge, catastrophic, you know, loss. Uh, and then, you know, during the recession of 2008, it wasn't even anywhere close to that. And we lost a huge amount of jobs. And now we've gained, I mean, you know, we, there's still a large proportion of them gone, but a lot of them have come back. And this is very good news. If you look at the overall unemployment rate, the unemployment rate only went up to 14.7%. It's now down to 13.3 percentage points here. And while it's the highest unemployment rate since, you know, the, the uh, you know, the late 30s, something like that, this is very good news and we'll talk about why this is good news for donald trump as well and the the, the kind of crazy thing about this is is that the reports at the predictions and the models were all incorrect there were expectations that the unemployment rate would be around 20 percent with 8 million jobs lost and said there was 2 million jobs gained says here, how could the experts be so wrong? Well, this downturn isn't like any others. The economic shutdown was engineered, which has never been done before, and it made it hard for economists to predict how the real world would behave. Uh, while, flipping a f while flipping a switch to, quote, turn the economy off worked, it wasn't clear how the reverse would happen. Even after the buoyant May jobs report, there are plenty of unknowns, and economic forecasts could continue to fumble, said Neil Richardson, investment strategist at Edward Jones. And this is very interesting if we look at this, because, you know, obviously... We've never had a situation before where we're trying to get people to not work instead of trying to get people to work, which is how, you know, you normally get the economy to grow. And what's very interesting about this is we really don't know how is this going to continue? Is it going to stop? Are the job numbers going to go down, which I don't really see happening? I think we will keep continuing to grow the amount of jobs in this country, which is a very good thing, not just, again, not just for the president and his chances of getting reelected, but for this country. Um... Says government help is still needed. Says President Trump took credit for the better than expected jobs report on Twitter, calling the numbers, quote, incredible. We're going to be back and we're opening the country, Trump said Trump during a press conference Friday morning. And if you lock down, and if you look at the lockdown governors, the ones that are most energetic about reopening, they're doing tremendous business. And that's what these numbers are all about. This is true. The, num the states that have reopened have had more people go back to work. This is completely true. And it's, you know, common sense. That's what would happen. Um, the only thing you don't want is they get a second wave of the virus and then people have to go back home again. That's really not what you don't want, but we'll see whether that actually happens here. If we actually look at the stock market here, the stock market is doing very well right now. It's up almost 900 points. The Dow Jones Industrial Average up 3.33 percentage points. The Nasdaq's up 2 percentage points. The S&P 500 is up almost 3 percentage points. So the economy has responded actually quite well to this. The oil price is rebounding. The gold price is falling, which means people are are now more confident in the economy, which is a very good thing. Um, and if you look at this, this is all good for Trump. As I pointed out, this is good for the country. But now we'll look at why this is very good for Trump. Uh, this is the Fox News poll, the same poll that had Biden up. I believe he was up 
we'll look at this in a second. Yes, this, so in this poll, Biden was up eight points over Trump. So you have to look at that at the baseline. You know, you've got 88% uh, you know, deciding between Trump and Biden. And then you've got 12% either third party or undecided. So eight point lead for Biden. Um, and it still has Trump doing better on the economy. So Trump is at 45% on the economy. Joe Biden is at 42% on the economy. So Joe Biden was at 48% in who they're going to vote for, yet he's only at 42% in people who trust him to do a better job on the economy. Whether this is warranted to think that Joe Biden will do worse in the economy is a whole other question. But the economy is one of the most important issues for voters. The issue of China, which is actually quite an interesting one, because Donald Trump has actually gone after Biden, uh, Biden a lot in some ads and stuff on China. Uh, people trust Biden overwhelmingly, not as much as they do, um, you know, to vote for him. Uh, Biden has a six-point lead here, 43 to 37 here, but they do trust him more. The coronavirus, Joe Biden is up more than what he's up in the poll. He's up nine points on the coronavirus. On health care, he's up 17 points. Now, health care is one of the biggest issues. So it's usually the second biggest issue. And whether Biden, with all the other things he's leading, because Donald Trump's leaning on the economy and losing on pretty much everything else, the environment, health care, uh, you know, China, as it says here, you name it, all those other things he's losing on race relations, those kind of things, which is what I talked about in my video yesterday. So people trust Biden on most things, but they trust Donald Trump on the economy. And if the economy was not doing well, Donald Trump was probably not going to win. And when the economy is still not doing very well, it is a good sign that, you know, for this country that the economy is starting to recover and we're having millions of people go back to work and in donald trump's uh in donald trump's lens you know he was very happy this morning you could tell at his press conference he was very happy that you know the the economy was recovering and the the millions of jobs had been gained and because he knows that it'll help him come november the number of jobs gained is going to help him come november it does say here 88% are concerned about the coronavirus spreading, and 78% feel the economy is in bad shape. So obviously, this poll was done before. This poll was done May 17th to 20th, so this is a quite a bit earlier here. The job numbers were based off of the first two weeks of May here. So most people still do think the economy is in bad shape, but expect those numbers to start creeping up a little bit as you see more people getting back to work. And the economy is still going to be in a bad position come Election Day. The economy, I think it'd be lucky if we're below 8%, which is kind of ironic if you compare it to 2012. But I think we'll be lucky if it's below 8% here. You know, whatever, uh, you, many things can happen here. You know, Florida could have a second wave of the coronavirus and they have to do a stay-at-home order again. Same thing with Georgia, same thing with Texas, same thing with South Carolina. There's a lot of big ifs here. But Donald Trump will get a bit of a boost here because his approval rating has taken a bit hit. He fell to about 42% in the approval ratings here. In the polls, he's down 8 to Biden. In the state polls, it's arguably even worse here. Um... And so this could give him a bit of a boost here, and I do expect it to give him a bit of a boost because the only reason, you know, his approval rating started creeping up, he was doing so well in the economy, the job approval on the economy was great, um, you know, he was a bit closer in the polls, he wasn't down 8 percentage points, you know, um, and so this is good news for Donald Trump because you, I, again, I do expect him to start rising in the polls, I, he'll still be down in most polls, I think almost all polls, but... Yeah, it says overall 32% think the economy will improve within six months, 23% say seven to 12 months, and 24% say one to two years, and 14% think longer than that. Um, so th I guess the six months numbers before the election, only 32% of people think that it'll improve before the election. This is probably mostly Trump's base, the people that already support him here. If you look at the graph here, we can see it. The people that think it's more than two years are probably Democratic voters. Same thing with the one to two years. But this could make it so more people think the economy is going to recover faster and more people can rally around Donald Trump. This is... An interesting thing, because while people do still trust Donald Trump in the economy, he's still losing. And if you get a lot more support for Donald Trump in the economy, he'll probably be losing by less, even if he loses at all. If Donald Trump's 
loses the popular vote by uh, less than four, I do believe he still has an ability to win. If he loses it by a bit more than four, I do believe he will lose. Because Biden, I do think Biden will make gains in New York. I think he'll get a similar result in California. He'll make gains in Texas. I think he'll make gains in states like Georgia, these high population areas. Uh, so that'll help him in the popular vote. So these national polls, you have to think of it. You know, Joe Biden's winning by eight percentage points. Really, if you think about it, he's only winning by four because Donald Trump can still win if he's down by four in the popular vote. Um, you know, we have some other polls here, some other things about the election, you know, things about mail-in ballots, things like that. Uh, this was a, and I decided to use this Fox News poll because it was a pretty skewed Democratic poll. Fox News usually does have polls that are good for Democrats and good for Joe Biden here. Joe Biden did go up a lot more than what he was up in the April poll from Fox News, yet he was still down in the economy, which is the interesting thing to look at. I mean, usually Republicans are up on the economy question, so that's not a new thing, but it is Donald Trump's strength, and if there is a lot of momentum with the economy come November, it could benefit him a huge amount. So thank you all for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, join the Discord that is linked down in the description. This was quite a short video today, but I just want to talk about some big breaking news that happened, very good news that is coming out here. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys later.